Get ready for the highest level of competitive Pokemon singles today. We have the industry signature Stormbreaker balance team. We are in the top 50 of the ladder. You should be at top 50 or at least like top 75 of the ladder. And it's time for the signature industry content when we play in the top, top, absolute top of the ladder using the classic industry build. And yeah, let's wait for a game. Also, like I have got a badge for, you know, just uh, reaching, I think, top 100 or top 17 OU. I mean, yeah, I have a lot of accounts in the top 100. But yeah, with this team, I reached top 100 today while testing. I tested the team quite a few times. So see, this is the badge I have. User is top 100 on the Gen 9 OU ladder. So yeah, just a little bit of show off. Okay, we got the game. Now, let's see. First, first, the most important rule, the game plan. Yeah, before clicking any move, just have the game plan. Just have a look at the matchup. Which which ones are scaring you and which which ones are scaring them. So you have to, you know, always start thinking about that from the first turn before you even click a move. So looking at their team, first of all, like I won't make a gameplay, but because like Samurai is the, like regardless of whatever mons they have, even if they have a, like a Dialga or a Pauki or an Arceus, whatever they have, but Samurai is the most annoying to me. I hate this Pokemon, so Samurai, I have to eliminate that first. And then Primarina is checked, kinda checked, but if he's like, you know, Terra Ghost with Psychic Noise, then we might be in big trouble. So I have to keep my Ogre Pawn healthy, you know, for that. I also have to make sure Primarina isn't behind us up. Dragapult will be a fodder because whenever Dragapult comes out, my Heatran is gonna come out and throw Magma Storms, which he doesn't like taking at all. Landis, piece of shit, Landy, I don't give a damn about Landy. Landis, literally, you know, whenever Landy comes in, I get my Mons and get free moves. Gambit is checked by my Mandibus, Gambit is checked by my Great Tusk as well. Also, we can, like, you know, get a Burn Body with the Heat Run, so yeah. And Cobalion is Cobalion, yeah. So, looking at leads, like, I don't want him, you know, to lead with the Samrod and get momentum, but if he plays my Ogre Pawn and leads Fault, I lose a lot of momentum. I apologize for talking so much. But, I will, in this case, I will try to prevent, I will try to lead something which prevents both the Dragapult and Samrod to come out. That is gonna be the Peach. So, yep. So, if this shit is like, this doesn't look like specs, it looks like something, you know, hex and shit, so, I'm gonna malignant chain, yep, yep, figured as much. If he goes to Gambit, I'm fine with Gambit. Okay, he goes to the Iron Crown, so, this joint run, uh, Psychic Noise. I know this joint run Psychic Noise, but, like, can I Shadow Ball once? Uh, and escape. I'm gonna Shadow Ball once. Yep, I figured he's gonna feature side there. Get some nice little damage, we can parting shot out now. He tag on colors me, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, this gives me so much momentum now. I will go to my heat and take the future site and then yeah, get try to kill the Samrot. Potentially kill the Samrot. Yeah, we'll magma storm here. Yep. He has to go to Samrot. That is my goal. I have to Oh, Landy. Okay, Landy came out. Didn't expect that, but Okay, this is the Oh he crit me, right? Oh, this is the biggest drawback of this move. This stupid move. This garbage move. Man, I wanted to hit that, man. Would have been so much in a better spot. But I'm just gonna defog. Try to defog. If he taunts, that's fine. Okay, nice. Man, this is so bullshit, man. I wanted to hit that Magma Storm. He goes to Primarina. That's fine. He might be... He's not Assolvest, right? No, no. This Cobalion is also... I think it's like Boots. It's not Assolvest because my Fisherman did a lot of damage. But yeah, we can go to Blissey here. Go for the Moon Blast. I will take this opportunity to get my joints up. Goes back to Landy. Now he has to... Yep, rocks, and this is why I told you, right? Whenever Landy comes in, we get a free hit off, and he doesn't have a good switch into my IV. He can go to Fault and take like 40% damage. Oh, this is good though. This is really good though. This is really good. We do a lot of damage. He's in fact leftovers. You know, I can actually stay in and just uh, go for the IV again, but do I want to take damage? Also, if my Tusk comes out, I literally get a kill. So, some plays I have to make. I don't want to rationalize ever because then the Primarine just clicks the water move. I can technically take this thread out. Or I can be very patient. I, I kind of need the HP unit to take a hit from the crown. So I can just go to Tusk safely here. Goes back to land. I don't know how much speed is he running. But like I'm going to Ice Spinner here. Get a lot of damage off. Yeah. And now when he comes in he's going to die to Rocks. Please U-turn. That's fine. This, this is fine. Right? Not the end of the world right. So I will trade the land any day. My Tusk was good to check the Gambit. But I have a Mandibus. So also I have Encore. Yeah we get rid of the Ogre Pawn. Which is a giant problem. Oh, he goes to Paul, which is not even boots. Yeah, the U-turn is free, but like, uh, I think I'm just gonna go to Heatran here. If he shadow, he can't shadow ball, you know. I can get a burn body here as well. That Thomas 29-ish damage, that might be, I don't know, but that might be banned, Paul, though. I'm not sure, but that's fine. 
Oh, perfect. We go to Samurai. Please land his boots. Samurai will get a good chunk of damage here. Nice. We will protect. <clears throat> he can't edge. He knows, right? He can't edge. If he edges, he's gonna lose. He can't edge here, but I want to make the Ogre Pond play, but I don't want to take the hit. He can't water move also. Like, what does he click, man? Not that I super duper need my heat ran. I will make the Mandibus play. Ah, he edged. Man should have stayed in, but I'm ah, fine. Just gonna get a deep power. He might have Encore though. Ah, oh, he cheated Encore. Now the dark move is definitely coming, so... Uh, I need my Mandibus at, uh, yeah, to kill... My Mandibus kind of wins. My, I need my Mandibus and Blizzy to win, so... I can go for the Burn Body. I really want to go for the Burn Body, but... <laughs> Yeah, man, I knew he joined his Encore. Yeah, I'll go to Pitcher end here. Let him see his less edge. Mm. Double back to my Mandibus. We will roost up here. I have a Plantus, may I do? Let him Encore, may I roost up here? I will sack the Pitcher end and I'll sack the Pitcher end here. He sees less edge again. We go back to Mandibus. I'm kind of toying around with this joint so I can defog now. Now we go back to Ogre Pawn. No, wait, he might. Ceaseless. Oh, he pawn. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we got out there alive. You know, we didn't lose a Mon. I think we came out as the clear winner here because I didn't lose a Mon. My Mandible is also healthy to check the Gambit. And yeah, I have my Ogre Pawn, which is kind of threatening for him. I'm just going to power with here. Get rid of the Samurai. No has on the field. His Rocker and Spiker are gone. Yeah, he's going to go to Paul. Like, I don't want to go to Heat Ran. I can, but I don't want to because my Heat Ran traps and then we get rocks up on the Paul, right? But yeah, I have to keep my mandibles healthy. My mandibles are Terra Dragon. So if you Terra Dragon darts, I, I'll lose the game. Yeah. Uh, I'll just hack the pitcher on here. As much as I want to go for the foul play, but in case he Terra Dragons, I won't kill him and I will lose the game. So I have to roost up here. He goes to the clown. Tachyon, Fugue Side, Volt Switch. And he, he can Volt actually. He can definitely Volt here. Uh, I'm gonna foul play once. Fuge oh, nice. We get some nice damage off. That's amazing. He's 100% going to Volt here, so he's going to Volt to Pre-Marina, right? I can't go to Blissey because it's going to invite in the Fault. So I'll just go to Heat here. Nice, yeah, we'll take the hit from the Fault also if he goes to that. He's going to kill me with darts. I wish I was ready though, but yeah, I'm just going to Magma Storm here. Oh, he turned. Oh. Ah, oh, man, the burn body. Come on. I wanted the burn body, though. Is it specs? No, he can't be specs. He went for the, yeah, that move turn one, right? I will protect here. He doesn't have a flip turn, I guess. Moon blast me. We'll get the joints up. Yeah, let him go to call. We'll get the joints up. So my mandibus will take the hit really well, but like... I can sack the Ogre Pond. I cannot sack Blissey. If I sack Blissey, I kind of lose to the Pre Marina. I think I will... It's not the play though. Because if he Terra Darts, I lose. I super lose if he Terra Darts there. I'll go to my Heat here. Let him Darts there. Now I can go to my Mandibus. <clears throat> go for the Foul Play. I wish I was Steel though. Goes to Pre Marina. I'm super scared of the Terra Dragon, else I'm fine. I will IV get the get rid of the Iron Clown. Oh, but the question is, is he Terra Dragon or is he Ghost Blast? That's my biggest question I have here. I, I don't think he's Terra, I think he's Ghost Blast, you know? Yup. Let's roost up here. Perfect. His boots. I ha always have to go to Ogre Pond. He can go to Poly. I always have to go to Ogre Pawn on this. Also, you know, you know, one thing, my Ogre Pawn most likely leaves the hit. If he U-turns, I'm fine. I'm gonna go to Mandibus always. I think he's Ghost Blast, you know. Ah, he U-turns. Perfect. The Poly is taking damage, which is gonna come in handy. He goes for that. Okay, he, he can't make the Paul play. Uh, I'm gonna power up here. Goes to Gambit. Uh... Encode the sucker. And now we'll double back to Ogre Pawn. Yup. I want Ivy so bad, you know. I, I really wanna I don't I don't I think I trash lies an Ivy, right? 
Because I am not tearing my mandibles, that's for sure. Yeah, Terra Dragon is not gonna help me. I don't tear my Blissey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I always tear here. I tear here always. I always tear here. Because if I get rid of this. Oh, he sacks fault. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. Yeah. Mm, if he SDs, I ID and kill him off. Mm. I go to mandibles here. Sucker Punch is there. We will. ID. Now we can lose, I guess. Free Marina. I will go Blissey. Mm, let's toss. Oh, he, oh, he threw. Uh, yeah, he, he mad threw. Yeah, he mad threw now. Yeah, he mad threw. He mad threw. Yeah, I, I, I always go to Overpun and Encore. If he goes for the SD, I Encore. Yeah, I always Encore here. I always Encore. Goes for the SD, right? Yeah, I always Encore here. Yep, we on code him into SD, we IV here, and that should be game. Yep, oh code the gambit. Holy shit, this game must have though. Tough, tough game. Oh my god, how oh, he was very high on the ladder. But yeah, this is how you play, you know, when you don't have the most ideal matchup. I told you, right? My Samrod matchup is not that best. I mean, we don't we don't lose to it, but you know, it's annoying. It's very annoying to deal with. And he had, you know, a very, very, you know, kind of a very strong matchup. Because yeah, this wall switch, Kabalan is a problem. And especially, you know, after I like. Lost my trust to the landy. I didn't expect him to kill the grass knot, but I told you, right? Whatever the game plan I had in mind, exactly it worked out like that. So the game plan I had was, I told you, right? Whenever landy comes in, I get a hit with my over pawn. That worked out. Secondly, this Paul was kind of checked by my heat ran. Like, I don't see banned Pauls generally, but yeah, he was the rare banned Paul. But then I also, I checked it as much as I can with my heat ran. He got also very lucky with the burn body burns. He should have got burned. And then, yeah, we played really well with the Samrod. That sequence, you know, just on coding and doubling. That sequence was very nice. And then we made some really nice doubles with Overpawn. And then he last choked the game with Primarina. So pretty much, yeah. Let's get the next game. Yeah, like, come, see, this game took so long. Like, compared to Pokemon, I'd speak. Okay, one more hyper offense piece of garbage. Of course, the game plan is uh, I have to keep my pitcher and healthy for the Zenta. Because whenever he goes to Zenta, I'll, uh, I mean, Zenta kind of beats my whole team, kind of, yeah. I can't, I have to keep my pitcher and healthy. My mandibles will always check the, the fire one. This joint is mad annoying. This joint is super annoying. This rock joint is mad annoying. And hat can never break past my heat ran. Gambit is checked by a lot of months. So, I have to, you know, whenever I get a hit with my Tusk, I'll grab a kill. But the problem is, Tusk only comes in on one month and two months. Two months, yeah. And looking at his leads, he might be the spike. The spike joint lead or the deoxy lead. I'm assuming it's gonna be the deoxy lead with knockoff. I think that's a deoxy knockoff lead. So I think my heat trend is gonna be the best lead here. Yup. I must storm here. Even super super parts, he won't kill me, you know. Yeah, that's not gonna kill me. Oh, he does jack shit damage. Burn please. Oh, this is good though. Ah, come on. Ah, I wanted to hit that, but he's fine. He's gonna nozzle my shit. Man. Okay, he's the big menace. Hmm. We'll go to Tusk and just rip him off here. I will kill his joint off. That heat crash is not gonna do a lot of damage because like we are very heavy. We are mad heavy. Oh that's not Oh he's mad slow. Oh he tails me out. We take a good chunk of damage though, he's mad slow. Heat crash is most likely coming, right? Oh, he dragon tail. What the hell am I saying? Now I die, doubt here. Heat crash kills my Blissey, but yeah, if he goes for the earthquake, it's definitely gonna. I'm just, I don't need my Blissey for any more. I'm gonna sack the Blissey here. Okay. What am I even bullshitting? I can't go. To, I can't know. I can't go to Pitcher and. Yeah, I still have my Tusk kind of healthy, so we'll go to Mandibus here. Yeah, we'll take a lot, but yeah, sometimes it is worth it. Yep, we take a lot of damage, but it's fine. Sometimes it'd be like that. Mm -hmm. Corner joint is here. I can literally trastalize and pretty much take the hit, but like, uh, do I? I kind of wanna, but uh, we'll go to feature here. I wish me there. Uh, we'll go for the malignant one. Oh, here's knock. Can I get a confusion, please? No, we don't get those. Don't SD, please. Oh, if he crits me, we're done. If he crits me, we lose. Goes back to Deoxy, most likely gonna be going for the Psycho Boost, I'm assuming, or the Rocks. Okay, we'll go to Heat Run here. 
go for the rocks, whatever. Now we can magma storm here. He knocks my joint off. The Oxycon is he's gonna lose to my Pechan and he's not playing the game very well. I will keep my heat trap to burn body the gambit. The corner joint comes out. Mm. My IV is kinda it's kinda useless. I can't. You know what? I believe I'll take the IV. Oh, I do not take that at all. But you for sure do. I will power it here. If I can get rid of the hats, it's gonna be so good. Oh, he goes to the Zamazeta. This is also not bad. We get a lot of damage off. We go to Pitcher and always. Goes for the crunch, does negative damage. We recover a fear. I thought my Hitran was gonna take it, you know. Just to gamble, we will parting shot out. Go to Tusk. Go to Iron Head. Go to Mandibus here. Now we roost up. Mm, mm, default joints away. Roost up again. Post back to Ogre Pawn. We go to Pitcher and. <coughs> uh, I'm gonna recover once on the Gambit. Yeah, he's gonna go to Gambit always. So we parting shot out. <coughs> go to Mandibus. That's a good chunk though. <coughs> Power play. Yep, got the joint. Nice, nice. The gambit is the problem. Oh, this is a big, big problem. I hard gonna go to Tusk here. Hard double to Tusk. Goes for the draining kiss. I believe I have to trash less at any cost else. I'm gonna lose. Yeah, we'll take a water and IV in here. Yeah, no, I have no play, man. I literally have no play. Yep, this joint will be nuzzling always. Oh, oh, he healing which That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Uh... I am most likely faster, right? Damage, he cut out me there. Nice. Hmm, we go to Mandibus here. I roost up once on the Zenta. Okay, I guess the recovery, which is don't really care about that. Uh I can foul play, right? On the gambit. No, he doesn't need to make the play. Ah, I am Oh he rode, okay, he rode. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, we can shadow wall here. Nice chip on the gambit. We'll parting shot always. Yeah, see how we are just dealing with the situation. That the jack shit will power play always. Zenta. Mm. I can ID up, you know. I'm gonna ID up here. No, I'm gonna go to Pleasure and Has he trustless? He has trustless already. Uh I'm gonna malignant here. Can I get the nice, 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 nice. Amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, this, is the, this is the only thing and he has to keep roading me, you know. And I believe I, I just go to Pitcher and always. Now we Shadow Ball. Nice. Uh, I can never roost. Goes to Gambit. Parting shot always. Nice. Go to Mandy. If he crits me, that's gonna be the worst situation. And he cut out there. Yeah, we roost up here. Oh, now it's Jover. Yep, no. There is Jover. Yeah, this is Jover. 13. Hmm. I'm gonna IDF up in case he doesn't roar. He roars me there. Hmm. Wait, I'm slower, right? Parting shot out. Oh, okay. And he threw. Yeah, and he threw. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't. I don't think we can lose from this. But I always IDF here. Because I don't want to risk some sucker crit. The Iron Aids, he went for the crit, but this should be... Yep, one more nice victory. Well earned victory, you know, well, well. Good, good games, good, good games. He was at 1956. Oh, he was top 20? Oh, I didn't even see the badge. He was at 1956, holy shit, man. Man, we are in the 1900s, our badge should change. I think, you know, we are in the top 30s as well. Ladder, then I know you. Uh, uh, uh. We are very close, actually. We are in the top, uh, top 50. Yeah, we are somewhere, somewhere around 18, right? We are at 60 somewhere. I played the loss. Yeah, we are at number 65 and he was at how many? He was at uh, lottery numbers. Lottery numbers. Where did you drop this joint? Yeah, I told you that. I see. Just, do you see the game plan? Just see the game plan. I'll look at everything rest later. But first see the game plan. Let's see lottery numbers, right? 
1931. Okay, 1931. When did we drop him? 1931. His joint is 1931. Oh, we have dropped him to 35. Yeah, we dropped him a lot. We dropped him a lot. Just see, the, just see, man. Yeah, he sees the silver medal. We have the bronze one. He's the silver one. So yeah, nice, nice games. I hope you guys are thoroughly enjoying this top rated, top rated singles. We don't play. Let me tell you something. In my channel, you will never see games. 11, 12, 1300, 1400, 1500, 1600, you will never see those kinds of games in my channel. Either we will go big or we will go home. The least rated games you will see, when I use like super duper heated teams, you will, the least rated games you will see like 1670, 1680, that is my least. When it comes to least ranges, 1670, 1660 is my least. But, we will get the one less game. So yeah, 1670, 1660 is my least, when we use super heated teams. But average, we play 1750, 1800. 1800 is our average. And 1800 is late top top. I think it's 150. 1800 is top 150 in the ladder, by the way. Also, we play official singles ladder Gen 9 OU. The official singles tag. We do not play UU. We do not play all those crap on tiers. We don't play UU. We don't play RU. We don't play NU. We don't play PU. We don't play ZU. We don't play all those. We don't play those garbage. We, we play OU. We play VGC also. Sometimes we play VGC. But I told you that I'm like very busy right now with my work. So I'm not getting a lot of time to prep. I plan on going to the worlds. But yeah, like I was pretty decent in BGC, I, in showdown I hit like top, I think I hit top 500 once in the ladder, yeah. I also made uh, top 10 in a tournament in showdown only. You will see some, there are some video, BGC videos in my channel, there are tournament BGC videos also. But it was like 5 to 6 months back when I was playing BGC seriously. So yeah, you will see only official tiers. Also, you know, when my, my schedule is gonna be a bit free from like next month, so I'm planning on uh, doing Ranbats in the maybe in the earlier part of the day and then we will do OU in the later part of the day so that is my plan okay let's see what we can lead off with here mm. Rilla boom right we'll lead Fetcher and here perfect 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 oh, just parting shot if he knocks that's fine but I don't think he wants to just stay in here the matchup is very bad it's gonna be tough to break him Nice. We'll go to Tusk here. Look at this, which is to my close combat. You don't see, right? Okay, we'll close combat here. Go for the bang. We'll go for the bang. I forgot, you know, I had that Tusk, so. Ah, uh, man. Also, I haven't made any game plan in this game. He can go to Illaboom and get massacred. Also, he can go to the free marina though and eat it up. Okay, that's for free. Don't burn body me. No burn body. Nice, 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 nice. Attack boosting Tusk is kind of scary. Not gonna lie for sure. Go to my... Uh, Overpawn? Wait. Hmm, he can't kill me with any move, you know. I'm just gonna power whip here. Unless he has CC though. Ice Spinner is not gonna kill. I should encore him. If he terrestrializes, then we'll be in trouble. We'll be in huge trouble if he terrestrializes. Hmm, I should go to Mandibus. Blim, don't stay in Blim. He's gonna Terra. And you're gonna beat, get beaten down. I have a plan though. Okay, good, good. Okay, we'll kill him here. Oh, nice. Okay, we got rid of the tusk, which is a big, big problem. Yeah, we got rid of the tusk. My Petcherant is gonna check the boom and the, the Zenta. The Roaring Moon is gonna be a major, major problem. Major problem. But I think I have to castleize my tusk to beat the, the Roaring Moon. Yeah, but it's gonna be a major, major problem. Goes to Rillaboom, so I'll try to get the burn here. Never, we never get that. That is fake. That is fake as hell. That joint is fake. Like he has to go to Roaring Moon. Oh man. Hmm. 
The question is, will I get the burn body though? I'm gonna taunt him. The biggest question that I have here is, will he have Earthquake on a team like this? I'm gonna magma here. Okay, oh, Akrod there, perfect. You dumb, can you just get the burn? <laughs> can you just get the burn body, please? Man. Okay, one more chance. Bro, is he covered cloak? Is he covered cloak? Bro. I kinda wanna protect now, I'm gonna hold power. I want to get him in mandibus range. You serious right now? Okay, okay. Bro, this is impossible. This looks impossible. How is he not getting burned though? He has roost, right? Yo! Are you for real? I know Mandibus takes this. Man, five hits and no burn. Five hits and no burn. Yo! Five hits and no burn, that is insane. Wow, man, I really, the only reason I taunted, I could have gone to Mandibus. The only reason I stayed in was to get the burn body. Man. Yo. Ah, now I lose, I think I lose. Bro. This shit even possible. He's not covered cloak, he's booster, so how is he not getting burned? He's going for the contact moves, I'm literally burned body. Literally, as you can see, it's see flame body. Oh, wait, it's not showing here, right? Go to the builder and show you guys. It's literally flame body, as you can see, it's flame body, man. Bro. Yeah, Terra Flying will not kill me. I'm max defense. Yeah, 337, that's not gonna kill me. That's not gonna kill. <sighs> <laughs> Yo, you serious right now, bro? You freaking serious? Wait, he's gonna, he's gonna, no way he clip the grass move. I have like way too much stuff right now. I, I can't go to you. He, no way he clicks the grass move, right? I don't want to sack you, but this case I might have to. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, we go to pressure now. Nice. Malik then. Yo, that was so close. Holy shit. No man, it's crazy. Oh, he's not even banded. What the hell is he? Man, that is so bullshit. But the thing is like, you know, he's Zamazenta. Yeah, checked by Pejor and I don't need not to be so much super duper worried. <coughs> that is like absolutely ridiculous. 460 defense, 380 HP. No way Zamazenta to beat this man. Absolutely impossible. But yo, that shit was something else, man. I'm telling you, that joint was something else. Oh, he he doesn't get hacked. Okay, he's hacks proof. I guess the only explanation is his joint is hacks proof. How is he doing so much damage? What's his item? What the joint is his item though? Oh, he's okay. There's just no way. I refuse to be he's oh he's that right I cannot stay in I'm gonna party shot out I he hope he's not jolly though oh thank god his joint is not jolly he might have draining kiss but my yeah I'm gonna go to my yeah, over pawn here not bad yeah we can on literally encode him yeah you can stay here hmm. I technically can power whip and then go for the headlong pretty much nah I'm not going in case you know in case I miss the power whip and then we yeah, he might have psychic noise and then draining keys and joint. So we, yeah, I don't want to just stupid lose to it. Goes for the calm mind. Yeah, we can go to pressure and now because if he keeps calm minding, we'll encode his joint. So you go to pressure and always. Yep. Every mon of his has got some kind of boost. See, oh, wait. First we're malignant here. Yeah, the twenty-two. A poison would just heal the deal. Still, still not giving up, still not giving up, man. He's gonna drop the defense, right, and win. 
Yo, you have to die at this point. Get the poison, Fisherman. Yo, he's hacks proof. His joint is totally hacks proof. Holy shit, man. Holy shit, look at his joint. He's, he's using all his luck in this game. Oh my god. His joint is totally hacks proof. How the hell? Bro. But yeah, the question remains. We are still unbeatable. His joint was an 1845 beat and all three joints slashed the stride of the ladder. Just dropped. Chopped from the ladder. Blim comes with a strong team. You might be thinking, Blim using hit teams every day. Blim playing in the 1800, 1850, 1900. But when Blim brings the strong classic industry signature balance, we just chop, rip apart the guys from the top of the ladder. This is why you should subscribe to the channel and leave a giant like on the videos. Because here, as I told you and I keep telling, we have the most top quality official content. 1913, man. 1913. Let's have a look at the ladder. 1913. 1913. 1913 we definitely have entered top 50 yep we have entered top 50 so yep patient is possibly you know the only one which just beats zamazenta all variants of zamazenta it beats it beats the id crunch heavy slam variant it beats the id crunch roar variant it beats the sub Terra steel variant it beats the boots variant it beats the choice band variant so even let me show you some calcs also since I'm very serious about this team, if you are using this team, just use it well. Just use it well, man. Use it well. Because you won't be losing games with this team. Unless you like absolutely just keep throwing stuff. Yeah. Zamazenta. Mm, choice band. And then we have... Pechorant. <clears throat> what is this? Oh, you nasty plot bullshit. We don't use these garbages. A defensive Pokemon should be used defensively. No max special attack. No team in nothing. A defensive mon you use defensively. There are offensive mons much better. If you want to use an offensive ghost poison, use the damn Gengar. It will do a much better job than Pecher and Yeah. Use defensive mon defensively, man. Okay, yeah. So this will show the cows. Choice Bandit Crunch. Let's make it like max attack also. Max attack also. Choice Bandit Crunch does 40% max. 40 max damage. And then there is also one more move in case this joint is running. Psychic. Fangs. <clears throat> yeah, Psychic Fangs never does 42 max. So you never get to it killed. Unless you know, unless you are the, the last joint whom I played. Yeah, you're hacks proof. You know, you might get like crunchy defense drops and stuff. So, but still you beat them. Also, let me just explain you some parts of the team. You might be wondering why my Pechorant is Terra Grass because of this mon. This mon just kinda, you know, just it can go. You, you can never, you know, predict what this mon can do. This mon's capabilities are unlimited. This mon is so freaking broken. Yeah, I think if if something wants to get banned. You know what, I would be fine with maybe some Uber getting unbanned to OU, but this one is like, yeah, Volcrona is nowhere near this Pokemon. If Ogrepon Wellspring gets banned, then Rain will just terrorize the ladder. You can't stop Rain anymore. Yeah, you have to use like Water of Cloud or some shit to stop Rain if this Mon gets banned. This Mon is a secondary check to Rain also. Very, very important Mon. This Mon is one of the few Mons which can check stall kinda well because it stops Alomomola from Wish into Flip Turning because of Water Absorb. So yeah. One of the few mons which is very important to, you know, just stabilize the balance in the U tier. So yeah, Ogre Pawn. Also, you have to use Ogre Pawn, man. This is a good Pokemon. So, Petra and this Terra Grass just to check every variant of Ogre Pawn. But don't let this Pokemon, don't let this Pokemon get to like plus 6. Then you will die to yeah, pretty much everything. Then we have Petra and our main check to the Rillabooms, the Zamazentas, all the, you know, it checks all physical attackers. Unless there is a banded uh, choice band Tusk or some shit, it will, it, it will die. It still takes a headlong rush. Banded headlong rush it takes though. Yeah. So pretty much, and Mandibuzz is very important. This is our main check to King Gambit. Yeah, the ID variant beats almost every variant of King Gambit. The ID variant, it beats all forms of King Gambit. And also, if, if people are running Jolly, unless, you know, unless they are like Terra Fairy, Terra Blast. But if they're Terra Fairy, Terra Blast, you beat them with the Pager and, and then Tusk is always there. So be careful. Also, you know, this Dragon, I'm not a big fan of this Dragon. I'll make it uh, Steel. I'm running Dragon mainly for the Ogre Pond, but I think Steel just, you know, just makes a lot of sense. Yeah, we'll make it Steel. And then Heatran is there to check those annoying Pulse. Yeah, it checks every variant of Pult unless they are like some new Pult. Terra Blast, Terra Ground. Pretty much, yeah. The standard industry Heatran. And then Mandibus, I told you. Great Tusk is there. Our main Wall Breaker, our main Stall Breaker. Choice Bandit, Terra Ground, Headlong Rush. Does like around 60% to 55% to Max HE, Max Defense, on those. And also, it, it will always Oko, one hit kill Gliscor. So pretty much, yeah. You use this mod to break Stall. Just, just don't get it burnt or some shit, you know. Allo also takes a lot of damage. And remember, Allo can't flip turn. They will never pick flip turn because of the Ogre Pawn. And also, if they if they trashlize the Dondozo to check the Ogre Pawn, maybe into Terra Fight or something, then you just beat them with Tusk. 
yeah then they will have nothing let's say they want they can't get aloe into tera applying and something so yeah pretty much yeah so yeah and then of course blissy you need blissy you else you straight up lose to raging neck you don't lose to raging neck because you have a tusk and ogre pond but you know what yeah blissy is just uh, you know just your second confidence for the special attackers so yeah i think i've talked enough today and this is how you hit top 30 in the ladder with the storm breaker balance industry signature team the team link will be in the description in case you want to use it make sure to subscribe leave a giant like and i will catch all of you guys on the next video stay safe take care and peace my dear friends